All right, guys, everybody. Another video. This time we're going to be working on a Citroen C8 HDI. This is a 2003 model, and obviously I'll be using the DS708. So it's going to load the software. This is the non-CAN model. Vehicle, vehicle details. Uh, this is the RPO. This is, stands for repair, uh, order, something like that. So any number will do. Just need to press. So what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to do an auto scan on this because there is. Uh, quite a fair amount of ECUs so we'll do a, a auto scan and I'm gonna skip this to try to make the video a little bit shorter so be back in a second right scan is finished um, it's scanned a total of 23 ECUs uh, obviously we're not gonna go through all of this because otherwise we'll be here forever uh, we'll go through the most common ones. So on these uh, uh, on these uh, Citroens. So we'll go uh, BSI. So ECU information as is normal. Read codes, uh, erase codes, uh, live data actuators. Uh, maintenance BSI operation mode. Let's see what you can do under maintenance. Reset maintenance indicator. It's all you can do, really. That's it. Nothing special here. Programming deflection detection. Programming. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> so actually it says here programming deflation detection but when you actually go there the only thing that is allow you to do is actually key programming so apparently you can do key programming on this car so obviously we're gonna cancel this a bit of a glitch here but um, actuators live data we're not gonna go through this but uh, Let's see, for example, what codes we have on this. Oh, a few codes here. The code here that was not... That is not identified, so it tells you the code, but... It doesn't tell you what that is, so there's no... Translation for that code. So you can't really do a lot on this one. Um, so lights, locking on under actuators, uh, doors, electric windows, raising. So nothing special here, really. It's going to go to another ECU. I'm gonna go, for example, to switch module. This is the module where all the stalkers are, all this. <coughs> Not a lot really, only these four options. Uh, four faults in there 
that do not have uh, an identification of what they are. So this is it's never very good when you have things like this because yes, you know there's a fault, but it doesn't tell you, it doesn't give you any guidance at all. So I found that the DS708 does quite a lot of this on uh, French cars. Gonna go. Might be interesting to go on this diesel additive function. Uh, this is the top one. It's gonna see if there's anything. So read codes, blah, blah, blah. live data. Let's go live data. Okay, so it tells you some good information here. So it tells you, for example, fuel cap, it tells you it's present, so it's detecting the fuel cap, which is one of the things that is prone to fail on these cars as well. Uh, and it tells you the level of the additive. So some good information here. Go back, actuators. So you can actuate the diesel pump the additive pump and the injector. Good. So what you can do under configuration. So you can actually do a replacement. Okay. I'm going to escape these because I don't want to mess about with this, but you can do some configuration on the, under the diesel additive. It's going to go, for example, another one, I don't know, airbags. Actually, this car came to me with an, uh, an airbag light on. There's a problem with airbags, which I haven't locked yet. Right, so it actually tells me what it is. So it's the right side and right side curtain airbag igniters. So it's open circuit. So it tells me some good information here. Go back. It's going to go to the engine. Read codes. I let a few codes here. They are all identified, which is good. Uh, on engine you have erase, live day activators. It's gonna see what you can do here, probably a regen. There we go. So you are able to do a regeneration on this. It's gonna go back. So then you have additional. 
It's gonna say, for example, ABS. So you can calibrate the steering wheel angle sensor. It's good. You can do the bleeding, and then you have the normal uh, menus with the read, live data. Let's say live data. What can you see on live data? So it shows you the the angle of the steering wheel. Some more live data here. It's funny it doesn't doesn't show you the speed of the wheels, but under actuators you have probably the solenoids and all that. So and we're just going to go back to the top to the BSI usually is a ECU where you, you should be able to do quite a lot um, I don't think the DS708 is intended to do things like that but uh, you should be able to activate and deactivate systems and uh, things like that but as you can see there's nothing here for that as we saw already so is a uh, is a DS708 on a Citroen C8 2003. Uh, it reads the codes. Uh, some codes they don't have uh, an interpretation, as you as you could see. Uh, was just saying refers to the owner's manual, uh, which is never good. Uh, we could go through all other ECUs and try to see what they come up with, but. Um, uh, but I don't think uh, we need to. I I believe it detects all the ECUs. It's 23 of them. I don't looking at these. I don't think there's anything missing. So it's not bad on uh, on reading the codes. Uh, it's not bad. Um, thank you for watching, guys. Any questions? Just put them below. Um, and see you soon.